winds in monsoons are the result of the atmospheric pressure conditions prevailing in a prevailing in country in indian ocean which influence as the arrival of the monsoons in india the mechanism of a monsoons has influenced by the shifting of itcz intertropical convergence zone intertropical convergence zone itcz it is a broad trough of a low pressure in equatorial regions in equatorial regions 0 to the 10 degree northern and the southern hemisphere southern hemisphere as itcz shifts it's due to as a thermal conditions thermal variations prevailing in a both the hemispheres when when the summer solstice occur in a northern hemisphere on 21st of june itcz shifts towards the north and uh, during the sum, winter solstice when sun rays may fall vertical over a tropic of capricorn it shifts towards the south it shifts towards the south this is the where the north east and the south east trade winds converge itcz this convergence zone lies are more or less parallel to the equator which is out of moves north or south with the apparent movement of sun due to as the sun rays which falls which moves from tropical areas north of the equator towards the tropic of cancer towards the tropic of capricorn capricorn due to the apparent movement of the sun itcz shifts due to the shifting of the itcz intertropical convergence zone in summers which is also as the monsoon trough during the monsoon season during the monsoon season at that time high pressure which is developing over the subtropical high pressure belt subtropical high pressure belt 30 degree south 30 degree north 30 degree north subtropical high pressure belt due to which as the movement of a winds which is blowing in a southern hemisphere as south easterly from subtropical high pressure belt south towards equatorial low pressure belts after crossing the equator these winds turns the right hand side this diversion of the winds is occur due to the correlative force the force exerted by the force exerted by rotation of earth force exerted by rotation of earth which leads to diversion of winds left hand side left hand side in a southern hemisphere and right hand side in northern hemisphere right hand side in northern hemisphere this diversion of winds is known as the ferrell's law diversion of winds known as the ferrell's law so yesterday we discussed till as the modern concept of the monsoons the el nino effect el nino is a peruvian current which is responsible for the movement of a monsoon winds in india in el nino years el nino years when high pressure developing over a south indian ocean and a comparatively low pressure developing over pacific ocean south pacific ocean under such circumstances winds move from a south indian ocean towards the pacific ocean more rain receiving in a parts of australia and a south america comparatively india in india as a low rainfall scanty rainfall received the abnormal rainfall received in india as their opposite in a normal years when high pressure developing over a south pacific ocean and a low over a indian ocean in such years india receiving as a normal rainfall 
India receives the normal rainfall in such years. For the proof of their uh, concept, the Gilbert used the two of the cities, Tahiti, which, uh, which is as the island in the French Polynesian in South Pacific Ocean, and second as a Darwin located in Australia. So the temperature and the precipitation conditions prevails in between of a Tahiti to Darwin used by the Gilbert to prove their modern concept of monsoons in which India receiving as a plenty of a rainfall when high pressure developing over a Tahiti or a Pacific Ocean and low pressure over Darwin. Winds move from the Tahiti towards a Darwin. South America towards the Australia, which resulted as a maximum rainfall, the normal rainfall in India, in the form of monsoons in June, July, and August. Afterwards, the August as a retreating monsoon season begins, September, October, and November. Clear? We discussed till this much of, uh, this much of the concepts in yesterday. Let's we start as a seasons. In India, there are the four seasons are experienced. The cold weather season, which is known as a winters. The hot weather season, which is known as a summers. The season of the advancing monsoon season. Advancing monsoon season. The season of a rotating monsoon winds. Clear? So let's start from the first winter season, the cold weather season, which now as experienced by us, in parts of Punjab and Haryana during this, these months, January and sorry, now I'm audible. Cold weather season, winter season. During as of this season, the clear sky, clear sky, pleasant weather, which you are now as experiencing. The Shar, Garima, Pali, you are experiencing in a, now in these days. On today, 15th of the February, you are experiencing as a pleasant weather, with a low temperature. There is as the winters are still continue but the low temperature and the humidity still present in a year, high range of a temperature in a daytime temperature is a hike till the two o'clock, hike in a temperature, in a midnight temperature falls still as the four to five degree. In daytime temperature as the 12 to 14 degree temperature is a recorded. 12 to 14 degree Celsius temperature recorded till the two o'clock. Afterwards, the temperature starts to falls due to which has a high range of temperature prevails in all over, sorry, especially in the northern parts of a country. Cool and slow northern winds, northern winds are the main characteristics of a cold weather season in northern plains of India. During this season, during this season, the northern two thirds of the country has been it has the mean monthly temperature, which is below than the 21 degrees Celsius. January is the coldest month when the temperature in the Ganga Plains vary from the 10 to 15 degrees Celsius. In Great Plains of India, the coolest place recorded as Amritsar and Adampur in Jalandhar. Adampur in Jalandhar, which experienced as the zero degree Celsius temperature during the winters during winters the southern one third okay gushan the southern one third has rather the warmer condition and does not have the distinctly defined winter season the 20 degree 20 degree celsius temperature has prevails the range of a temperature of a 20 degree celsius prevails in a Northwestern parts of a country in a Rajasthan and Gujarat. Rajasthan and Gujarat. Clear? During these months, as the temperature of the northern plains is a low, so a high pressure prevails all over the northern plains. Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan, they are experiencing as the 
they experience as the high temperature, high pressure conditions. The winds start to blow from the high pressure areas of the northwest to the low pressure areas of the southeast. So the northeast trade winds prevail over a country. They blow from a land to the sea over a large parts of the country and do not cause as a much rain. These are the sea, uh, sorry, land breezes, which are moved from a north towards the southward, north towards southward due to as a not availability of a water body. These winds are the dry in nature, dry in nature. They do not cause as excessive rain, but due to as the due to the influence of a wind subsided along the slopes of the Himachal Pradesh, they, in, they decrease as a temperature of a, these winds, clear? In this month, the winters, the Western disturbances, they cause as the rain. They leads as the rain in India, especially parts of Punjab, Haryana and the Rajasthan receives as a rain during the month of a January. Such rain originate from the, these, rain, uh, these western disturbances are originate from the Mediterranean Sea lies in between of uh, Africa and uh, Europe. Winds originate from uh, this region starts to blow towards the uh, east. The reason because influence of a uh, Tibet, influence of uh, low pressure conditions prevailing over a uh, Tibet attract the winds from a Mediterranean Sea towards the Middle Eastern countries, due to which as these winds bifurcated into two parts, these winds, Western disturbances, when they are blowing towards the east of the Asia, they are bifurcated into two branches due to existence of the Himalayas. One branch enters in a parts of a China, China and cause a rain. Another branch enters in a plains of India, which leads a Western disturbances, which are known as the Western disturbances or Mahabat. Locally, they are named as the Mahabat, which cause as a rain in a month of a January. That rain is a supportive for the wheat plant, the rubby crops. Why? Because before of the Western disturbances, there is a regular falls in a temperature. Temperature decreases in a Northern plains of India, decrease in temperature, experience as a frost conditions. And in frost, growth of a plants stopped. Growth of plants stopped. So when rain starts afterwards, the lori, afterwards the lori, which influence as the hike in a little bit hike in a temperature. Hike in temperature, support of a rain, it supports the growth of a rabi crop. It supports as a growth of a rabi crop. On their way, their moisture content gets the augmented when they blow over a Caspian Sea in the north and a Persian Gulf in the south. The western disturbances cause in their way light rainfall. Although the amount is lower, Yet it is as the highly beneficial to the wheat plant in Great Plains of India. When the rain receiving in a plains of India, same time as a Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, Jammu and Kashmir, they are experiencing as a heavy snowfall. Snowfall. So you just as experienced in a last month when rain begins as nearer to the 20th of January which continuously has occurred till the 28th of January. 28th of January. So under such circumstances, in these days, the heavy snowfall recorded in a Himachal Pradesh. Clear? Heavy rainfall recorded in Himachal Pradesh. So this was as the winter season. During as a winter season, winter season, nights are the longer comparatively the Days, days are shorter. Sun rises at a seven o'clock, which sunset occur at the 5.30, near about the 5.30. Now we are moving towards the equinox state. When the sun rises, it will be fall over the equator. 
it will be fall over a equator which influence which is visualized in a form of a increase in a duration of a duration of day sunset sunset it is as a occurred now in a present as in delayed as around the 645 sun rises as the earlier around the 640 645 650 around so duration of a day starts to as a increase afterwards the 21st of december that process it will be as a continue till the 21st of the 22nd of march sunday's fall vertical over equator sunday's they fall they may fall vertical over equator they will be equal duration of a day and night in both the hemispheres both the hemispheres afterwards when sunday's they will shift towards the subtropical high pressure belt 30 degree north the state is known as the summer solstice in that state the northern hemisphere it experiences as a longest day as compared to the southern hemisphere longest day experience in a northern hemisphere comparatively the southern hemisphere as compared to the southern hemisphere clear next <coughs> the hot weather season <coughs> hot weather season or summers till there any questions any questions till there any doubts any queries any questions yes nobody next one is a hot weather season or summers the hot weather season begins with the march and ends in a may ends in may the important characteristics prevailing in, during as a summers as the rising temperature rising surface temperature and falls in atmospheric pressure due to the increase in temperature atmospheric pressure decreases it's why because of the it's because of the hike in temperature when the temperature is increases winds they they becomes the hotter and hot winds are the lighter light winds rises upward directions upward directions which results as a development of a low atmospheric pressure low atmospheric pressure there is a steady increase in a temperature increase in temperature from south to the north with the highest temperature highest temperature is recorded in a interior parts of the country interior parts of a country at that time march april may almost complete of a country experience as the severe hotness the during the winter season winters are prevailing in a northern india northern india parts of punjab haryana uttar pradesh delhi and bihar and altitudinal parts of himachal jammu and kashmir also but not in a southern states but when the summers are experiencing during the months of a march april and may complete of india almost complete of india experiencing as the hotter and the dry weather conditions such hotter dry weather conditions attracted the winds from south towards the north south towards north such south towards the north movement of a winds are known as the monsoon winds so temperature is a begins to rise from march and the highest temperature reaches with the end of a june in march the highest day temperature is found in a deccan plateau it is around as a 38 degrees celsius in april the heat belt moves further north to the gujarat and madhya pradesh the average temperature ranges from 42 degrees celsius to the 43 degrees celsius the heat heat uh, waves they moves as further towards the north during as uh, this season hotter and dry winds hot and dry winds are prevailing in a punjab haryana and a north western parts of a rajasthan which is popularly locally named as a lu as the almost the whole of the country the high 
temperature so the low atmospheric pressure conditions develop over the plains of india on the other hand the surrounding seas are the cooler hence the high pressure conditions prevailing high pressure conditions prevailing over the arabian sea which attracts by the winds and these winds cause as a rain in a parts of a coastal regions during the this season kal besaki kal besaki in a west bengal these local winds are known as a disasters to the besaki calamity to the month of a besaki in april these local winds are accompanied by the thunderstorms and bring rainfall this rain in the month of april may is good for the tea crops in assam and jute and rice in a west bengal clear during this month as a lu lu is the name name given to the hot dry winds which blows particularly in the month of may and june in the northern plains of india especially parts of punjab haryana and rajasthan experience as a lu during as the summers third as the mango showers mango showers are also experiencing in a parts of a southern india these occur in a south india during the april and may they bring a little rain which is as important for the ripening of a mangoes mangoes are naturally ready for the harvest due to as a rain recorded in a month of april and may in southern india clear such rain which is as occurred in a southern india during month of april and may it is also supportive for the growth of a tea and a coffee plants tea and coffee plants rain recorded at the time of a ripening of a mangoes as a mango showers till there any questions any questions yes till there any questions summers and the winters any questions next is a advancing monsoon season advancing monsoon season or a rainy season rainy season rainy season in india starts with the onset of the south west monsoon winds south west monsoon winds those winds which originate in a form of a south easterlies after crossing the itcz equator equatorial low pressure belt they becomes as the south west monsoon winds south west monsoon winds which last until the september june to september they are prevailing from a south towards and northward in all over the country temperature during this season all over the country begins to fall as the monsoon rainfall intensifies before of the monsoons dry conditions prevailing over a country during the summers which high in temperature it cause as a increase in temperature the north western parts and the desert areas of rajasthan still have the temperatures reaching as up to the 40 to 45 degree celsius during the 40 to 45 degree celsius during the monsoon season the temperatures in a northwestern plains of india are still very high as a result of which low pressure conditions prevail there by early june the low pressure conditions are powerful enough to attract the trade winds of southern hemisphere these south east trade winds are of the oceanic origin which are coming from the indian ocean they cross the equator and enter the bay of bengal and the arabian sea after the crossing the equator they follow a south westerly direction this is why they are known as the south west monsoon winds i am again as repeating the those south easterly winds which are originated from the subtropical high pressure belt after crossing the equator they turns the right hand side in northern hemisphere 
right hand side in northern hemisphere due to the coriolis force the force exerted by rotation of a earth force exerted by the rotation of the earth coriolis force diverts the winds right hand side in northern hemisphere which are later in stage known as a southwest monsoon winds such southwest monsoon winds approaching towards the coast of kerala coast of kerala at the first week of june after crossing the 40 to 45 days 40 to 45 days such monsoon winds reaching towards the parts of a punjab haryana the north western parts of a country clear north western parts of country due to the topography of a country the landforms of a country uh, such monsoons the advancing monsoon season is divided into two branches arabian sea branch and a bay of bengal branch arabian sea branch of the monsoons the arabian sea branch of the southwest monsoon strikes the western coast of india in kerala on the 1st june and the windward sides of the sayadris which receives sub plenty of rainfall clear when the west southwest monsoon winds they are striking over the they are striking over the windward sides of a western ghats which cause as a excessive rainfall in a parts of a mumbai panji the coastal parts of a maharashtra karnataka and kerala as compared to their leeward sides of a pune and nagpur which are located as the opposite side the leeward sides of the western ghats which experience as a lesser rain comparatively the windward sides of a western ghats sayadris clear when these winds are crossing they overcome the deccan plateau and madhya pradesh which causing as a fair amount of a rainfall due to existence of a central highlands due to existence of a central highlands so these southwest monsoon winds the arabian sea branch of a southwest monsoon winds it cause as the orographic rain in a western sides of the western ghats orographic rain when any of obstruction has comes on a path of a winds winds lose their moisture in that part and blow as easily they can cross such relief features due to as a this influence as a when these winds are striking over the windward sides of the western ghats they lose their moisture and subside in the opposite side of a leeward sides of a western ghats that's why the eastern sides of western ghats do not receive as a excessive rain they receive as a lesser rain mumbai receives a more than 200 cm rainfall pune located as the leeward sides of a western ghats receives the scanty rainfall nagpur pune receives the scanty rainfall clear as their opposite the bay of bengal branch of a monsoons bay of bengal branch of monsoons it starts to blow parallel to the parallel to the eastern coastal plains means the coastal parts of a tamil nadu chennai pondicherry andhra pradesh odisha it's blow parallel to the such places so advancing monsoon winds do not cause as a rain in a eastern coastal plains the parts of tamil nadu andhra pradesh receives the excessive rain during the retreating monsoon winds not by the advancing monsoon winds clear retreating monsoon winds they are neither as receives the excessive rain through the advancing monsoon because they are chennai puducherry tamil nadu coastal parts of karnataka odisha are parallel to the southwest monsoon winds branch of a bay of bengal branch of a monsoons they are situated as a parallel to the bay of bengal branch of southwest monsoon winds when these winds they are approaching towards the north eastern states north eastern states assam and meghalaya they are striking over the purvanchal hills purvanchal hills are located at its north at its east as a patkai boom so these winds are turns as a left hand side that place where as a they turns a left hand side 
Southwest monsoon winds, the Bay of Bengal branch of the monsoons leads as an excessive rain in a Mosinram, which is as a world's wettest place situated nearer to the Chirapunji in Shillong. In Shillong, world's wettest place as a Mosinram. So these winds, they cause as a rain in a parts of a northeastern states of Assam, Meghalaya, Nagaland, Arunachal Pradesh, then returns the left hand side moved towards Bihar. They resulted as a rain in a northeastern states, northeastern parts of West Bengal, then Bihar, then Uttar Pradesh, then caused as a rain in a Delhi, Haryana, and finally they caused rain. After completion of 45 to 50 days, they caused a rain in a path of a Punjab, in parts of Punjab at the mid of July. Monsoons, those which are arriving at the first week of June, they leads as a rain in parts of Punjab at the mid of July. So July, August, two, three months, two and a half months, Punjab receives a rain afterwards, retreating monsoon season begins. Till there are any questions, till advancing monsoon season or a rainy season, any questions? Next as a retreating monsoon season. In retreating monsoon season, those winds which earlier as known as the southwest monsoon winds, they become as the northeasterlies. Northeasterlies from east to west in a northern hemisphere. In northern hemisphere. The part which followed by the southwest monsoon winds as their opposite, the retreating monsoon winds followed their path. Followed their path. Southwest monsoon winds are an example of the sea breezes. The retreating monsoon winds are the land breezes, which are moving from the land towards the sea. Advancing monsoon winds, they are moved from a south towards a north, sea to land, but the retreating monsoon winds blowing from a north to south as land to sea. Land to sea. In this season, in this season, the temperature conditions are the temperature conditions are higher prevails over the South Indian Ocean comparatively the Great Plains of India, where the temperature is a lesser due to the less temperature, high atmospheric pressure prevails. Winds starts to move from a high pressure areas of a Great Plains of India towards the Indian Ocean. Clear? So any questions? Any questions? This we will continue in our next class.